friends good morning this is dr premon swami professor department of ecu today we are going to discuss the narrow band nas in phase and quadrature phase components so already in previous class we have discussed about the what is the definition of the nas different types of nas what are the main classification that is the external nas and internal nas what are the different types of subcategories under the external nas and internal nas today we can see the so narrow band nas so that is mainly we are going to concentrate in phase and quadrature phase components of the narrow band nas so narrow band nas in most of the communication system we are going to offer the for transmission of filtering of the nas and the communication systems offer the different types of band pass filters so among this band pass filter we can pass the wanted signal and receive the unwanted signals so that is in most of the communication we offer the dealing with the band pass filter of signals wide band nas will be shaped in into band limited nas if the band width of the band limited nas is very relatively small compared to the, the carrier frequency we refer to this as a narrow band nas so comparing the limitation of the band width we can have the narrow band nas so this is about the the definition for the narrow band nas so let we are going to assume that hfs denotes the the transfer function of the filter so accordingly we may express the power spectral density sn of f of the noise n of t in terms of the hff as sn of f equal to modulus of hff square so this is the signal noise narrow band signal noise so this is the spectrum you can see the on both side are positive and negative side so the spectrum of the noise narrow band noise so the carrier frequency this is on fc plus fm upper side band and fc minus fm is the lower side band so this is coming to the uh, right side of positive type coming to the negative side so carrier frequency minus fc so minus fc plus fm will be the upper side band minus fc minus fm is the upper side band this is lower side band so this is the, the representation of the, the narrow band noise spectrum and both positive as well as the negative so that is sn of x with the narrow band nas spectrum on both side so carrier frequency plus is the positive side we will get the upper side band fc plus fm beta b here similarly fc minus b is in negative side lower side band so coming to the negative side minus fc minus fc minus b is the upper side band so minus fc plus b is the lower side band so that is the based on the addition of the signal component it may be by upper side band or it may be lower side band so we represent the narrow band noise nft in terms of its in phase and quadrature component or aim is have to find out the what is the in phase or what is the quadrature phase component of the narrow band noise so that is let we are going to assume that n plus of t is the an n negation of t denotes the free envelope and complex envelope of the narrow band nas respect narrow band nas and of t respectively so we are going to assume that n plus of t is the free envelope and n cap of t n negation of t is the uh, complex envelope so overall n plus of t equal to n of t j n cap of t so where n cap of t is the hilbert transform of original n of t so overall n negation of t equal to that is a free envelope this is complex envelope so n negation of t is equal to n plus of t exponential e exponential of minus j2 pi of cp so these are the representations so n plus of t n cap of t are the free envelope and the complex envelope of the narrow band minus n of t so equations are also given to one three so n, n negation of t equal to n of t plus j n cap of t exponential minus j2 pi of ct so this is the the one of the function expressed in terms of the narrow band noise and free uh, envelope j n cap of t exponential minus j2 pi of t so n negation of t this can be written as same 
n of t cos 2 pi r c t plus n cap of t sin 2 pi r c t. So, exponential function e power minus j 2 pi r c t can be expressed in terms of the cos and sin. So, plus imaginary term j n cap of t cos 2 pi r c t minus n of t sin 2 pi r c t. So, these are the expressions for the given n negation of t. So, that is let n c of t equal to n of t cos 2 pi of c t plus n cap of t sin 2 pi of c t equation number 4. So, you have to find out the, what is the n c of t. So, it is a combination of the uh, narrow band noise n of t cos 2 pi of c t plus n cap of t sin 2 pi of c t. So, n, as, n of s n s of t n cap of t cos 2 pi of c t minus n of t sin 2 pi of c t equation number 5. So, where n c of t and n s of t are the in phase and quadrature phase components of the narrow band noise n of t. So, from this uh, spectral analysis of the narrow band noise, we have to find out the what is the in phase and quadrature phase component of the narrow band noise n of t. So, the overall you can say that n negation of t equal to n c of t plus j n s of t. So, what is the n c of t? It is a in phase component n s of t is the quadrature component. So, we get the desired canonical form for the representation of the narrow band mass by eliminating the n cap of t from the equation 4 and 5. So, this is about the how we are going to find out the, the in phase and quadrature phase component of the narrow band mass. So, equation 4 is uh, multiplying the cos 2 pi c t, equation 5 is multiplied with the sin 2 pi c t to get the in phase and quadrature components. So, this substituting the equation 8 from this 7, we will get the n of t equal to n c of t cos 2 pi of c t minus n s of t sin 2 pi of c t. So, in phase and quadrature component of the narrow band as n of t. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.